who provides information about the Minnesota Family Investment Program, commonly known as MFIP, and an orientation to employment services with Workforce Solutions. This video should take approximately 10 minutes of your time. Welcome, we are happy to have you partnering with Workforce Solutions. Together with you, we will explore your skills, determine opportunities, provide support, and find resources that matter to you to assist with achieving your work and career goals. Here's what we will be covering today. First, the definition, mission, and journey of the program. Second, an overview of services and the employment plan. Third, activities and logs. <clears throat> Fourth, expectations. Fifth, incentives, childcare, and family stabilization services. Sixth, support services offered. Seventh, the family violence waiver, rights, and your right to file a complaint and request conciliation. Eighth, your next steps. And lastly, we will provide some useful information and contacts. Definition, mission, and journey. The Minnesota Family Investment Program helps families with children meet their basic needs while helping parents move to financial stability through work. MFEP is funded by the federal program entitled Temporary Assistance for Needy Families, TANF. Our mission is to partner with families to build work and life skills and to create opportunities for lifelong learning and economic security through employment. The MFEP journey. The first few months will be a learning process. You will learn about employment services and gain clarity about a pathway towards your goals. We will learn about you and how to best support progress towards your goals. Throughout your time on MFEP, which can end and begin again as needed, this partnership and goal attainment will continue. Once you achieve your goals and no longer need MFEP or reach the lifetime limit of five years, you will transition off of MFEP. Overview of services and plan. MFEP services. You will work with employment services and have an employment guidance counselor to assist you. Financial services. You will work with a financial worker and if needed, child care services and will have a childcare worker to assist you. Employment services will assign you to an AGC who will assist you in creating an individualized plan to ensure your activities present a clear path to achieving your goals. The employment plan activities may encompass the following life areas. Family household, which can include relationships, children, childcare, and dependent care. Well being, which can include physical health, mental and emotional health, social and cultural supports. Stability, which can include housing, transportation, legal, and financial. Career growth and pathway can include education, career exploration, and training and employment, along with other areas of importance to you. Activities and logs. Possibilities of plan activities include participation in job search, such as preparation, interviewing, online or in-person search, education or training, such as university, certification or training programs, social services, such as mental, physical, chemical health for self or dependent or housing, employment or work experience opportunities, other, as needed and approved. Logs are required for each of the bolded activities above to show involvement as well as to approve childcare assistance. Logs are due by the eighth of each month for the previous month. Logs are not accepted once overdue for three months as the system closes. For example, May logs cannot be entered after August. Expectations. You can expect your EGC will support you in identifying and reaching your goals, connect you and your family with resources and referrals, process documents in a timely manner, be available unless on vacation or sick. EGC will expect that you will 
progress towards accomplishing your goals, maintain monthly contact via phone, email, letters, or in-person appointments, update information and documents as needed, such as address, employment start or stop dates, school or training schedules. If the above expectations are not met, a notice of intent to sanction will be sent and benefits may be affected as follows. Sanctions decrease MFIP grant monies. The first sanction is a 10% decrease. Two through six sanctions are a 30% decrease. And the seventh sanction results in a case closure. To avoid having your benefits reduced, remain in monthly contact with your EGC. Support services. Support services may be provided if funding is available and if you are actively working on your employment plan activities. Support available through MFIP. Basic supports, work readiness workshops, programs for justice involved individuals, education and training opportunities, work experience, community supports, career specialists and career pathway guidance. Incentives, childcare and family stabilization services. Incentives, a job will always increase family income compared to entry benefits alone. Your financial worker will not count the first $65 earned in a month, nor will count 50% of your remaining earnings when calculating the grant amount. Working parents can apply for both federal and state tax credits. Your EGC will work with you for what it's, it looks like for your family. Childcare. MFIP assistance covers care by both licensed and unlicensed providers. Once your application is submitted, your childcare worker will determine if a copay is required based in income. Transition year childcare is available to support your family during the last phase of MFIP. Family stabilization services, families with different circumstances may need different services. Please discuss any special circumstances with your employment guidance counselor to determine the flexibility offered for activities. Family violence waiver rights and right to comply a complaint to request conciliation. Family violence waiver. Those experiencing family violence would be connected to a domestic violence specialist. Develop a safety plan, be provided a waiver, which stops the MFIP 60 month clock and be provided resources and information about local shelters and services. Rights. Participants receiving MFIP retain the basic rights afforded all residents of the state and nation and have particular rights within MFIP, right to file a complaint and to request conciliation. Participants have the right to file complaints about their services in MFIP. Next steps, notify your employment guidance counselor if you have a felony drug charge and or are experiencing issues with child support. These situations involve providing additional information and resources to you. Ensure the following documents are completed and submitted to your employment guidance counselor. Notice of privacy practices, responsibility rights and consent, authorization to communicate via email. Schedule your next appointment with your assigned EGC and be sure to ask questions and advocate for your family's future. Information and contacts. The Ramsey County website has a wealth of information and resources available, which can be accessed through searching Ramsey County Assistance or calling 651-266-4444. The Minnesota Benefits website allows you to apply for services as well as upload documents for your case. The Easy Info line allows you to access information about your case at any time by calling 651-266-4444. 3800. Navigators can help with questions either in person or at Ramsey County Service Centers or via phone 651-266-0600.
There's also a Workforce One Connect app, which is available for you to communicate with your workers, access information about your case and upload documents. Ask your EGC about getting set up. Contact your EGC for support. The Workforce Solutions front desk can be reached at 651-266-9890. Workforce Solutions is here to support you and your goals. While this is a lot of information, your EGC can help answer any questions you may have. We look forward to partnering with you.